deep in the ESPN tape library. The worldwide leader in classic sports launched a series designed to take a new look at old games. They called it Cheap Seats with Ron Parker. Parker, an anchor with attitude, was helped thanklessly by tape librarians Randy and Jason. The show was slated to go all the way, but moments into the first show, tragedy struck. With Ron on the DL, somebody needed to step up, like Gehrig for Pip or Brady for Bledsoe. Sitting two and three on the hosting depth chart, that someone was Randy and Jason. That is their story, and this is Cheap Seats without Ron Parker. Welcome to Cheap Seats. I'm Randy. This is Jason. And today we're going to watch the 1978 Superstars. For those of you who might not remember, the Superstars pitted the best athletes from different sports against each other in a variety of events. It's kind of like Battle of the Network Stars, minus Gabe Kaplan's pulled groin. Now, today's competition took place on Grand Bahama Island, and it includes some of the most dynamic sports icons of all time. Like Wayne Grimditch. Now, before we get into the actual Superstars events, Let's meet the athletes involved. My name is Ben Davidson. I played defensive line for the Oakland Raiders. In 1927. Very effectively. My name is Deacon Jones, former Secretary of Defense. Before Donald Rumsfeld? Number 75. I'm Don Maynard. Schneider. New York Jets. I'm Bob Beeman, the world record holder in the long jump. And resident village person. Village holder of the world's water ski jumping record of 180 feet. Hmm. Hi, I'm Tom Sneva. Looks like Bill Gates. Yeah, only nerdy. Word. Hi, I'm Dwight Stones, two-time Olympic bronze medalist. This guy puts the white in Dwight. Ron Say, third baseman, Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi, I'm Steve Garvey, first baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. David Casper, tight end, Oakland Raiders. I'm Mark Van Egan, running back for the Oakland Raiders. Okay, laziest talent bookers ever. Clearly, they did not look beyond California. Now, in the actual superstar competition, the superstars gain points by winning the athletic events. And that's fine. That's cool. We're not against it. But in our little side competition, Randy and I will be searching for the coolest superstar. So throughout the show, we'll be periodically and arbitrarily giving and taking away cool points. For example, check out Ben Davidson's intro again. My name is Ben Davidson. I played defensive line for the Oakland Raiders very effectively. See, that's some serious hubris, and you're going to lose about five cool points for that. On the other hand, Greg Pruitt's got the gold tooth. That'll at least get him about 5.7 cool points. Now, at the end of the episode, Randy and I will crown the coolest superstar, or as we like to call it, the cooler star. I actually wanted to call it the Cooper Stars. And that's why I make 75 cents more per hour. Let's get to the action. Joining me today, Bill Russell, Bruce Jenner, Reggie Jackson, and Deacon Dave Jones. He has already told us he is quite a swimmer. Deacon, swimming with goggles. Lynn, your husband seems like a good athlete. Well, he's actually my brother. Oh, really? Good start. Look at that dive. That's got to hurt. Runs to the middle. Wayne Grimmich eases to the front. Furthest from you, Mark Van Egan. Ben Davidson is third, and Deacon Jones is having problems. What did Deacon say before the race? Oh, you a good swimmer? Oh, yeah, I can swim pretty good. Where? In your bathtub? I blame the goggles. Mixed up the super team, Bill. Bill. Wayne Gremnitz on top. This race is like that scene from Breaking Away. Mark Van Egan yeah, let's hope there's not a refrigerator at the bottom of the pool. Here in the second heat of the swimming, Wayne Gremnitz all the way, followed by Mark Van Egan and Ben Davidson and Deacon Jones. Oh, Deacon. Trouble. And we're just about ready. Dwight Stone's the favorite. Two lengths of the pool, 50 yards. The final will be 100 yards. And they're off. Steve gets a good start. But it's Dwight Stone. All right, this is boring. we got to fast forward. Dwight, you looked effortlessly in that one. Oh, I felt good. Effortlessly. Kept Obviously, good. grammar was not one of the events in the decathlon. <laughs> it is, but you were so smooth. It looked like he was working awful hard, especially at the Awful end. hard. Well, at the good turn, I save a lot of energy on the turn, so... The hundreds of my race, like running the quarter. All uh, right, well, good luck in the finals then. Thanks, Bruce. Now, even though we gave Jenner some grammatical flack in that last segment, we should note that he's probably the most famous and arguably the best male decathlete of all time. If it's not easy for American decathletes since Jenner to follow in his footsteps, imagine how hard it is for one of his less talented relatives. We invite you now to meet Nicholas Jenner, aspiring decathlete. I didn't choose the decathlon. The decathlon chose me. It's in my blood. I'm Nicholas Jenner, and I'm a decathlete. Bruce Jenner was my uncle. I grew up with him in my life. We all know Bruce. There he is right there. Happy guy. I knew that smile when I was a kid. I used to see it. It used to make me want to run and javelin and dash. 
That's my smile too. See that? This is a stopwatch that Bruce gave me for Christmas. And um, I use it to improve my time on everything. Carry it around with me wherever I go and I just time it. Get it the tight. Get my life tight. I came up with a theory studying my uncle throughout the years. To be a great decathlete, you don't have to be great at 10 events. You have to be pretty good. You know what I mean? Not even 10. I mean seven events. You can let three slide. I'm going to carry on my uncle's legacy. I've decided to be a decathlete myself. You know, I think I can do my uncle proud. I think maybe that'll be me on a board game someday. I'll be running, crossing the finish line. That's America. I love you, Nicholas. So what are the seven events you're pretty good at? Um, the dash, the one where you run. Yeah, the 100 meter dash, which I cut down to five because 100 is too long. Long jump, I'm working on that one. It's uh, pretty long right now. It's probably not gonna be super long. The shot put which is a classic decathlon event. And um, I changed it because I couldn't find a shot put. I didn't know where to get one. And then when somebody did get one to me, it was really, really heavy. So I substituted it with a cookie. And that was a lot, a lot easier, a lot lighter. So now I do a cookie put instead of a shot put. You can also eat the cookie at the end of the event, which, you know, you can't dip a shot put in milk. I start off every day, I wake up and write a letter to the Olympic Committee trying to get them to accept my events. The response has been a unanimous no. Is that even your real hair? Yeah, of course it's my real hair. Ow. I'm gonna do it. So close I can taste it right now. Whatever games, the Olympics, the Pan Am games, the senior games, I'll be there. When I'm there, I'm gonna have a cookie in my hand. Bet your dollar on that. Welcome back to Cheap Seats. All right, let's recap the cool race standings. Now, Dwight Stone's picked up four points for hitting on Grimditch's sister. And Deacon picked up 12 cool points for his long stroke. Okay, let's get back to the competition. Dwight Stone's took the finals in swimming, and Frank Gifford interviewed the ever-controversial athlete. Dwight Stones is always at the forefront of controversy in the arena. Hello, Dwight Stones. Personality of intensity it's Joshua. Would you like to play a game? In all of his actions in the high jump. Recently, Does anyone know who Valerie Brummel is? I have no idea. Does anyone know who Valerie Brummel is? No one? Oh, I know who would know. The Answer Dog. Game 7 of 82 when the Cardinals played the Shut up! Dog! Answer, dog! Thanks for stopping Hey, by. hey, hey, easy! I just got this bun a week ago. Well, it's very slimming. Yeah, you look great. All right, cut the <laughs> kissing. All right, here's our question. World champion high jumper Dwight Stones. Yeah, I know. I know who Dwight Stones is. He claimed that his favorite athlete was Valerie Brummel, and we've never heard of her. Who is she? First of all, dummies, it's a he. Oh. Secondly, he's only one of the most famous Russian Olympic high jumpers in history. 1960 silver medalist, 1964 gold medalist. Gold is better than silver in case you've never seen the Olympics. Yeah, we've seen the Olympics. And he recently died. So how about some respect for the dead people? Can I go now? Well, thank you very much, Answer Dog. Shut up! Whoa. Hey, whatever, dog. Let's get back to the action. Dwight, there was a recent article that came out in the New York Times stating that the monies that you had earned here at the uh, finals in the Superstars was going to have to go back to the AAU. I'm sure before you came down here, you looked up what the ruling is on this, and uh, what was your opinion at that time? 
Well, as usual, I don't go into anything without knowing all the facts because... Because uh, I'm a know-it-all and I'm annoying. It's shady in some areas. You, you can overstep your boundaries.